What's up, a cinema showgun here, and what people are labeling the Shanquella Robinson fight video has taken the internet by storm, and chances are, by now, you have all seen it. Now, the video is not what I would call a fight video at all. In fact, in the video, you can see that Shanquella Robinson is caught off guard. She's literally butt naked. She doesn't put up a fight. She doesn't even try to defend herself. In fact, you can hear, you know, what appears to be a poor, weak, pathetic excuse of a man in the background holding his cell phone camera saying, you ain't gonna do nothing. He ain't gonna fight back. And Shanquella literally says no. But the attack continues. And I mean, it was a brutal attack. I, I mean, I know most of you have all seen it. I have not played it on this channel. I wouldn't necessarily encourage anyone to go actively pursue it, to go watch it, because I think we as a society, we consume too many things like this. So I watch videos like this, so you all don't have to. So I can relay to you all this information. Now, if you want to watch it, you can. But just to give you a little bit of an idea of what's going on here, Shanquella Robinson is standing there. She is completely naked. Apparently, her group of friends knew something was about to go down because they already got the cameras rolling before the first, you know, punch was thrown. And Shanquella just gets brutally attacked by someone who I guess she thought was her friend. Now, there has been so many rumors and stuff swirling around about this case, and I have been working hard to try to figure out what's real and what's fake. For one, a lot of people were saying that this person attacking um, Shanquella in this video, they were saying that, that she is really a man, that she's trans. Now, as far as I can tell, I've looked into it a little bit. I mean, I, <laughs> I don't know for sure, for sure, but I think those rumors are false. So there are just tons of rumors going on right, um, going on right now, and it's hard to tell what's real and what's fake. But there is another rumor swirling around that there is a second video. That there is a second video. Now, you might remember in my coverage of this story, we talked about if this attack on Chanquella, if this was the only attack, if this was the only thing that happened, because we didn't know if in that video we basically saw, you know, Dejeuner is her name, kill Shanquella. We know that Shanquella passed away 15 minutes after sustaining injuries to her neck and spine. So I didn't know if this video of this attack on Shanquella was the video um, showing what happened to Shanquella and showing the injuries that led to her demise. But I also said that, hey, maybe there was another fight after this, or maybe there were more attacks after this. We don't know what happened after that video, but there's rumors, or what was believed to be a rumor, swirling around that there's another video, and that another one of these friends, I believe the name is Winter Donovan, attacked Shanquella as well after the first attack. So I wasn't sure if this was real or not, but recently Shanquella's father, Bernard Robinson, he sat down and did an interview. I want to show you all just a quick snippet of this interview. I would encourage you all to go watch the interview in its entirety. I may talk about other things that were discussed in this interview and future videos, but right now for this video, we're focusing on the fact that there is possibly a second video out there that shows the moment where Shanquella, I mean, met her demise. I know, I mean, trigger warning, but this is a sensitive story and we just have to tell it like it is. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll that clip and then I'll be right back with my thoughts. Stated. Now the video, the video shows that she was, there was a fight in the bedroom. It's early morning outside. If you look in the look at the you know outside in the video, but the death certificate stated that um, she was found in the living room. Um, but 
the video shows that a fight was inside the bedroom and we don't i do know and i communicated with you from a source that there is a second video because obviously you know um Shaquella is on is is on the ground with her head down so i mean you know sh you could tell that she's still alive but then other information that we learned today about winter donovan grabbing her around her neck and and slamming her and her not getting back up there is a second video that is there that is out there i mean this information came directly from someone who is friends with dejanay's mother and this information was communicated because people were upset about the fact that only one angle is being showed and that is Dejanay assaulting your daughter. This was not a fight. This was a brutal assault because your daughter was not fighting back. And in that video, at the end, Khalil had told um, Chaquela's sister and Ms. Salamandra that he was not there when all of this happened after the fact that they learned from talks from those that was there that there was a fight that he was not in the room but the video clearly shows him to the left i mean could you you've never seen khalil have you mr bernard no never seen khalil right only thing i saw is pictures of yeah, all of them yeah, right right so right i saw pictures of all of them yeah you know i heard the same thing you heard there's a video out there yeah that um You know, she picked up by the neck and slammed on the ground. And once they slammed her, she didn't get back up. She did not get back up. Mm. So I guess that, that slam back there must have broke her dick in a final cord. Do you need a second, Mr. Bernard? I can turn this off for a minute. No, nah, man, go ahead. We can go ahead and go through this. We can go through this. Yes, sir. I I know this this is I'm sorry this y'all this is very 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 difficult. Um, I I really don't know how much I love my daughter. Y'all don't really don't know y'all don't know what y'all have done to me. Y'all don't really don't know how you know the hole that y'all have put in me. I really don't know. There, you know. Hmm. Y'all can just come back here. And deal with y'all did and leave her there leave her there and then just leave her there and then the maid had to find her from what i'm hearing you know you know y'all don't understand how much of pain my daughter was in sitting there with a broke neck or a spinal cord you know and then i'm hearing i don't know Najee or whatever he came to the house you know so he was the last one um uh, something about he was the last one uh, when he was the last one about her breathing or something, you know, he playing soft music and rubbing her head. Really? All of y'all could have got her help. All of y'all. But y'all chose not to. Exactly. Who the f Let me start by saying this. I don't know what it is, but I feel really connected to Shanquella's father. Now, I've never talked to the guy I'm not going to actively go out and try to contact the guy. I know other YouTubers do stuff like that. I don't really have other people on my channel. I don't really do interviews and things like that. But I feel for this dude. And, you know, covering these stories, you cover so many that sometimes you, go, you grow cold to it. You know, you grow accustomed to covering these stories about these tragic events. And like I tell you all the time, some cases, they affect me, you know, differently than other cases. And I got to say that this dude, man, Shane Crowley's father, I don't know what it is. It's something about him that just really sticks out to me. For one, I can tell that he's a good father. For one, I can sense his pain. For one, I can sense his strength, if that makes sense. Like, in this situation, I could see him battling with himself and I could see how strong of a person he is to be able to hold his composure and do these interviews and things like that. But on the other hand, I see that sensitive side, that sensitive side that 
only his daughter could probably bring out of him. You know, and I watched this interview in its entirety and I saw him in different news snippets and immediately I just connected with the dude because I don't know, maybe, maybe it's because often in these cases we deal with so much emotions and a lot of the emotions are usually coming from women. And oftentimes we don't really see fathers and how they deal with these situations, at least in the cases that I've covered. And I don't know, it's just something about his energy that he's given off and he seems determined, determined to get to the bottom of what happened here. And you know, later on in the interview, I didn't play all of it, of course, but you should go watch it. He talks about how, you know, how Shanquella felt about him and that they should have known, like Shanquella, Shanquella's friends know about her daddy. And they know that he don't play about Shanquella. And I could see it in his eyes, even though it's a vulnerable moment and he's emotional, he don't play about his little girl. And I'm not saying Shanquella's a little girl, she's 25 years old, but that's his little girl and he's not playing about it. And I'm telling you right now, you don't want to be on this dude's bad side, especially when it comes to Shanquella. I can tell that this dude is and will go to the ends of the earth to make sure that these people are held accountable. And guess what? When these people are held accountable, these people who called themselves Shanquella's friends that left Shanquella's body on the floor of the villa for someone else to find while they tried to get out of back home, chances are they may be rotten in a Mexican jail, which is worse than any jail over here in America. But I do believe Shanquella is going to get justice. Now, going forward, obviously they talked about a second fight video, but, but it's not a fight, you know, you understand? But I think it's just what people are labeling it because you can say the word fight on social media, but you can't say other words like assault and different things like that. We're not going to say all the buzzwords that will get me kicked off of YouTube. It's a weird way that people have to navigate this platform. But it seems as if Dejanay is worried. Dejanay is the woman who some people thought was a man who was attacking Shanquella in the first video that surfaced. Dejanay is getting worried. The public is all cracking down on Dejanay. So Dejanay is doing some PR right now. And it looks as if Dejanay and her family members are the ones spreading rumors about the second video. Now, what sticks out to me is I'm not sure if the person conducting this interview with Shanquella's father or Shanquella's father have seen this video yet, but they have heard that it exists and it's out there from reliable sources. So I'm going off of their word. Now, it seems like Dejanay is worried because at this point, it, all, all fingers are pointing at Dejanay. Don't get me wrong. I think everyone who was there that left Shanquella behind, they all need to be held accountable somewhat. But it looks like, hey, Dejanay is the one who attacked Shanquella. At least she's the one on video attacking Shanquella, correct? So Dejanay is worried. So Dejanay is putting it out there that, oh, well, after this video of me attacking Shanquella, Winter, this other girl, Winter Donovan, I believe her name is. Forgive me, I have to remember dozens of names every week throughout all of these different cases. I believe her name is Winter Donovan. So after Dejanay attacked Shanquella in this video, you see that Shanquella was not fighting back. You see that Shanquella was butt naked. Literally, butt naked. Apparently, Winter hops on her and attacks her as well. Now, what I can't confirm and what I don't understand yet is, did Winter hop on, on Shanquella and attack her immediately after this first attack? Or is this something that happened later on in the day? That is a, a, a detail that I really would like to know. Is Shanquella already on the ground, already been attacked, still naked, 
laying there defenseless and winter hops on her and attacks her as well? Or was there another altercation later on? That is what I, I'm not sure of at this moment. But what I am sure of is that everyone was in that room or whoever was in that room, and there's a video. So everyone that was on vacation with Shanquella, that whole group of little friends, they all knew what happened to Shanquella with Dejanet. So they all knew that Shanquella was not this person who was like, even her, her father says Shanquella was not a fighter. So each and every last one of them knew what happened to Shanquella with Dejanet. So what happens is Winter, if this is true, saw blood in the water, saw a weakness within Shanquella and tried to exploit that and tried to hop on Shanquella and attack her as well. Winter was an opportunist who saw Shanquella's reaction to the Dejeuner altercation and figured, hey, I could get over on Shanquella as well because Shanquella's not a fighter. And apparently, from what people are saying about the video, she grabs Shanquella by the neck, slams her, and Shanquella does not get up. I don't know if this happened immediately after the Dejeuner altercation or it happened later on, but either way, this happened, and, and when this happened, Winter already had the knowledge of what previously happened to Shanquella. So it, it almost seems as if, and I was trying to walk, like trying to, trying to push people way, away from this way of thinking because people are thinking that this was just a complete setup, that they took Shanquella down there for a reason. And I'm trying to tell people, like, listen, I don't know if it was that well planned out. I, I don't think it's something that just spontaneously happened in the spur of the moment. But I don't know if they went down there with these intentions. But damn, if we have Dejanay attacking Shanquella, and now we know another person attacked Shanquella, then what the hell is going on here? It's like this whole group of people went on vacation with Shanquella and just put her through complete hell. That's what it's starting to look like because there were seven people there. I'm assuming that Shanquella is part of that seven. Maybe she's not, so maybe there was eight. But I'm thinking there's seven people there, right? Take Shanquella and Dejanay out the mix and then you got another person who attacked Shanquella? It's like damn near half of the people you went on vacation with are at odds with you and they're beating you to the point where you literally pass away. So it, it's starting, like the more we find out, it's starting to, to look like, I don't know, like y'all must have had some type of animosity coming down here because y'all weren't even down here for, for a full 24 hours before apparently two people attacked Shanquella. And we saw the first video, so it's not like Dejanay needed help. It's not like Dejanay got her ass whooped and then Dejanay's friend Winter comes and is like, yo, you got to fight me now. None of that. None of that. So this looks like something that is just done out of pure hate and spite. And this is why I tell people, be careful who you surround yourself with. Because people who you think are in your corner are sometimes the main ones out to get you. And I don't know the full backstory of all of these people. I've looked into them somewhat. And it looks like to me that Shanquella was the star of this circle. Shanquella was the most successful person that was on that vacation. And you know, there's a saying that goes, if you're the most successful person in the room, you're in the wrong room. And this goes to show, I'm telling you right now, don't surround yourself with people who may be envious of your success. And I think that may be some of what is going down here 
but there's all types of rumors about all types of drama and i'm trying to my best to to steer clear of it because at the end of the day i don't care what drama may have led to dejeuner attacking shanquella what matters to me is that there was no fight put up and that shanquella lost her life and no one got her help they left her on the floor of the living room of her villa in mexico and they went home and i think someone if not every person there needs to be held accountable but let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.